Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, we are gonna be planting our garden. We just moved to Missouri probably about two weeks ago, and I went to the farmer's market and roadside stand, picked up a bunch of plants. If you're interested in which ones they were, make sure you check out this other video. I can't remember if I'm gonna put it on this channel or if it's gonna be on Pursuing Gut Health, but either way, you should totally check out Pursuing Gut Health, my other channel, and um, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plant all of these amazing plants. And Robert is making some new planting spaces over here. So we're breaking new ground, this whole area here, hopefully by the end, by the end of the season, like before, ne before we're ready to plant next year, hopefully all of that will be um, an in-ground garden. We're planning on doing it no-till style. We're just gonna lay down a bunch of cardboard boxes and just put dirt on, dirt on top of it and plant into it. <laughs> hopefully over the next couple of years, we'll be able to build up enough organic matter because you can kind of see that there's not a whole lot in here. <laughs> I know that the miracle Grow is not the best option for this, but it's what they had at Costco. It is organic and it's the best that we have at the moment. We're gonna be ordering a, a whole dump truck load of soil, possibly more than one, and so we can actually fill in all this. But for now, the only thing that we really have access to is the miracle Grow. So that's what we're gonna do for now. How is it? Rock? Yeah. Solid rock. Break the shell. She have seen him over here jumping on that thing before I got it on camera. Okay, <laughs> this heat here is a totally different level of heat. It is insane. It is. We're also going through like a heat warning, so that adds to it. But it's like 1040 in the morning and I'm going inside. <laughs> I'm gonna go chill on the porch for a little bit, cool off naturally, and then go inside to our AC. Thank God we have AC. And then just gonna come back out this evening. It's now tomorrow, and hopefully you guys can see me, my camera. I'm just still getting used to everything around here. It is insanely humid here. The second that I walked out from my air-conditioned house, everything just got like insta-moisture. Like I instantly started sweating. This, my whole tripod, camera, everything just got covered in, in a layer and every time I wipe it off, it just reforms. So I think it's trying to get used to the temperature and all that. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm getting used to it. So hopefully you guys can see me okay. If not, I apologize. That's why it's kind of foggy. It's hard to tell if it's the screen or if it's this. Anyway, so I finished getting, I finished getting all of the, the beds weeded yesterday. I got all the thi all of the, the little weeds out. I got everything kind of tilled under, not tilled under, but I got everything broad forked and I got all of the, all the weeds out and all the big clumps uh, broken up. So now we're ready to go ahead and just top off the beds with the soil. And I don't think, I'm not gonna be planting these until um, till this evening. I feel like if I wait until this evening, I'll have a better chance of them surviving the transplant. It's insanely hot here. Um, this morning, I also was able to order a dump truck load of the soil and Hopefully that'll be here today or tomorrow. We'll just kind of go from there and start ordering, start adding on to the beds. But I'm just gonna, go, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Robert. So basically all we're gonna do for today is we're going to, well, for this morning, I forgot to set an alarm on my phone, so we don't get a, get a whole lot of work before the sun, get, before it gets really hot. So I'm gonna cover all of the beds with, um, well, I'm gonna cover as many beds as I can with the amount of soil and compost that we have, and then, I'm gonna make sure that all these guys stay nice and watered. Some of them are getting some heat damage for sure. So hopefully this is their third day, third day in the sun. I should have thought about asking whether or not they'd been hardened off. Clearly they've not been hardened off, at least some of them. I think the ones that I got from the Amish couple have been hardened off, but the other ones are not. Really it's just the comfrey that sucks. The comfrey and some of the marigolds are having a hard time. But other than that, everything else is doing just fine. And um, so anyways, I'm gonna get to work because I don't want to be out here all day. <laughs> 
So the day definitely took a, a turn and the dump truck driver wouldn't and or couldn't make it up our driveway. So he dropped it, whole load at the bottom of the driveway. So now Robert, Malachi and I are in the heat of the day during a heat warning, being stupid and uh, trucking it up here because it's not on our property. So we want to make sure we get it up here. We don't want to inconvenience anybody. So yeah, it's rough. This heat in the South is no joke. I know the South is. It's been, I'm not entirely sure how many days, uh, but I have gotten a few things planted and it's been, since we got the soil, it's been, it's been two days. Uh, since we got the soil delivered, we spent the entire rest of the day moving the soil, like, and then we were just beat after that. And then I tried to come out here and do a little bit of work. I think I got a couple of beds filled, or yeah, two beds filled with the soil. And then yesterday I was out here and I got some planted in those soil beds behind you. So I'll show you those ones when I show you everything that I actually got planted. Um, but so now all we have left is what we have is this oval, oval bed, this bed here, and then this long um, L-shaped bed. And so um, basically I'm just gonna get that done this morning and we're gonna get them all planted and I'll show you what we actually ended up getting planted. All right, so we got these, this part planted. I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys because the sun has shifted and I don't want uh, to melt my camera. All right guys, so uh, I got everything planted that I'm gonna be able to get planted today and in the beds that I'm going to be planting. There's a few more things that I wanna add in some of the spaces, like wanna add some radishes and stuff like that so they'll be able to grow pretty quick. And then um, over here we have some of these tires that I'm gonna plant a bunch of these flowers and stuff in. We're done for today. So I figured I would go ahead and show you what I ended up doing. Over in this bed here, I just have some marigolds here, one uh, zucchini and then a couple of cucumbers different varieties of cucumbers and then I put uh, one cayenne pepper there because I don't think that this one is gonna make it okay so then over here we also have three cucumbers gonna grow up the trellis and uh, I put a few marigolds a uh, black beauty another a zucchini and a uh, tomato cherry tomato of some variety and then over here, there's also another uh, zucchini, black beauty zucchini. I put four marigolds here. <laughs> I'm really hoping the marigolds help with the squash bugs because I've already seen some. And then these are all jalapenos and cayenne peppers, but mostly jalapenos. So I uh, put them about a foot apart. We'll see how that goes. That did fine for us last year. Not super worried about it. Over here, um, this is a, a tire, so I don't really, I'm trying not to plant, I'm going to try not to plant food in the tires if I can avoid it. Um, if I do, I, I will, it's not a big deal, but for now, I'm going to try and put flowers in here. So we got two comfrey plants, I still need to put, plant this one, but um, two comfrey plants, and then I'm going to just surround it with a bunch of zinnias. Then over here, this whole front row is three different varieties of, of, um, of green um green bell peppers i couldn't find it i didn't have any red so turns out i accidentally bought all green <laughs> and then i did kind of a zigzag pattern of marigolds all the way down and then in the back we have um i think those are bonnie's best on here four of those and then four sweet 100s on the back there and they're going to grow up this trellis here and i'm going to kind of tape them along to the trellis as best as i can um and then over here, what did I put here? Um, this is eight early girl, early bird? Eight early girl tomatoes here. Eight of those all the way down. And then uh, two brandy wines. Then there's uh, three, no, there's two Goliath tomatoes. And then three great white. Yes, three great white. 
and then and then four golden jubilee and one it's a hybrid cherry tomato at the end that I got and then in between I don't know roughly every four feet or so I did marigolds again hoping to protect against uh, tomato hornworm so what we have left is a bunch of zinnias and those are mostly going to go in some of these pots that we or these tires that we have around um, there I saved some of these marigolds to plant with these tomatoes you can see what Robert's doing over here with the, the potatoes I'm going to kind of be doing something similar uh, with tomatoes uh, just kind of laying down cardboard from our move and then just building it up and I'm going to trellis it in some way so we'll kind of see how it goes but he is definitely tending very well to his potato bed I think I showed you that earlier in the video this is kind of what it looks like now they're all planted and he's just top dressing it. And then we also have our herbs. I need to figure out where I'm going to put the herbs. So I'm thinking with uh, with the herbs, I'm going to figure out which, because in the end, this is going to be more of an herb garden and we're going to get the, the um, more of a production, more of a production garden going behind us over here. But for, for this year, uh, this is going to be mostly what our garden is going to be. I'm going to come in, I'm going to throw in some more of the colder weather crops. I'm going to get them started inside so that I can just throw them in um, when they're big enough to fight for themselves. I'm gonna throw in like lettuce and kale. I have some red cabbage over here, but I wanna get some more, need to get them started. And so those are gonna be kind of placed in and around here so they're ready to, ready to kind of grow up when the tomatoes are done. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. I don't think I'll end up putting cabbage over here. I'll probably make a space for cabbage because it's quite large, but some of the kales, kale, lettuce, kale doesn't do good with tomatoes. Dang it, my plan is falling apart in front of our eyes. So probably over there. <laughs> Over there, I'll end up doing kale and stuff like that, and then we'll do lettuce in here with the tomatoes. But yeah, I need to figure out, in the end, this is gonna end up being more of an herb slash somewhat of a kitchen garden. So I need to figure out exactly where I want each herb to take over, and then that's kind of where I'm gonna plant it, because I know it's not gonna take over this year, but next year, they should definitely be taking over each particular bed, at least some of the smaller beds. I don't know how it's gonna go. We're gonna figure it out. We're figuring this out together, and I'm sharing it with you. So. I need to get these things watered and then I need to go inside. It is hot as can be out here already. It's like 10 o'clock, I think. So um, we're just gonna water these in and um, that's about it. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to stay tuned. If you guys are interested in this, let me know down below and I'll kind of bring you along for the continual saga of building my garden and kind of uh, daily life here on our new homestead. So if that sounds interesting to you, let me know. And if that doesn't sound interesting to you, also let me know. Um, I'm not sure exactly what direction we're going to take this with. We'll see. And you guys can help me figure that out. So um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I like to do all kinds of videos on food preservation, gardening now, um, canning, freezing, dehydrating, fermenting, all those sorts of things. And yeah, so if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button right here. Up here is a video that Mr. Google Pants thinks that you're going to enjoy. This one here is another my last video here in Missouri and then up here is my Missouri coming to Missouri playlist so make sure you check that one out we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye